Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Monday, March the 11th, 2013, and here is today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. Want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading right now. The Dow Jones is currently up 39 and a half points. The Comp Q is up about 11 cents. The Russell 2000 is up a point and a quarter. Sorry, is down a point and a quarter. The um, S&P Cash Index is up three points here at 11.54. Uh, take a look at a couple of key sectors here, starting off with the commodities. The USO crude oil is down 16 cents. GLD is pretty much flat. GDX is down 20 cents. JJC Copper flat. SLV is down 13 cents. Uh, oil index is down 82 cents. The XLF, the financials are showing some a little bit of strength today here. Uh, especially Wells Fargo looks pretty good. Um, XLF is up 11 cents. Euro is pretty strong today. FXC is up 18 cents. UUP, the dollar, is down 2 cents. So let's go and take a look at the charts here, starting off with the ES 50 minute chart on the left hand side. You can see here Sunday overnight we were trading a little bit to the downside. Then we got a nice little bounce off this key 1541 level that we've been watching here. Had this nice little downward trend line that you could have drawn in from this little peak high that we made right there going, to the, going into the close on Friday. You connect a little overnight, a little lower highs we were making. And then on the open, we told our traders to watch this key trend line, highlighting the fact that we could have some upside buying pressure today if we were to hold this trend line. And as you can see, once we started breaking about the little trend line as we were making lower lows here and making higher highs, but kind of just consolidating in this little range right here. Uh, volume re momentum really started kicking in off this little expansion bar that we got here once we broke above the opening price again here all right this is kind of a little confirmation and then we've been off to the races since then we also highlight the fact how price was <clears throat> kind of moving against these against these uh key moving averages right here after we started pulling away from that key trend line that we're watching so market continues to move to the top side new highs on the s p for the year we hit a high today of 15.49 um, you do have a couple of stocks showing some relative weakness, though, which we'll take a look at here shortly, like Amazon. But aside from that, the market is looking pretty good. You can see the five-minute chart of the ES here cruising along these eight EMA, five EMA is pretty nice today here. And previous day's highs, you can see we broke out, pulled back, and now we're back above that. So some good action. Uh, Russell 2000 is kind of lagging behind a bit along with the uh, NASDAQ. So, so far today, the ES is taking the lead. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at those ETF. I know a lot of you guys at the, uh, you know, a lot of you home gamers out there, you guys trade the ETFs to track the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at those ETFs. And one thing you can see here is the SPY is up uh, 38 cents here, up 0.24 percent, holding about this key little range that I just fixed right there, 154.85. This morning we came here and held this support around the. 155.20 level and now we're moving higher again we really don't track the SPY that much intraday we we track the uh, we track the e-minis to trade stocks off of but you know it's the same thing but the levels to watch in the SPY I believe that we talked about in the weekend review videos is 156 157 uh, as far as today goes as long as we can hold above this 155 65 previous days highs that would be good we if they want to pull us back in a bit we'll be looking for move back down towards these uh, 20 day uh, simple and exponential moving averages here on the 15 minute chart around 155.50. Previous day's close is more right, right there, 155.43. Taking a look at the triple Q's, triple Q's, 15 minute chart here. <clears throat> a little gap down, held the previous day's lows, which is this green line right here. Rallied right back up. Now they're trying to go back positive. That's for the triple Q's. Take a look at the IWM. IWM pretty much doing nothing sideways here. Held the open price this morning, started lifting off of that and got rejected the previous day's close. A little inside. Uh, little inside day right here against today's opening price and uh, fr Friday's um, Friday's previous day's close there so that's how that's looking right there as far as some stock ideas we actually had three good call outs in the room this morning here and let me bring up the chart so I can show you guys the stocks that we talked about this morning first of all first stock we talked about was Facebook to the long side caught this Facebook for a real nice move let me bring up the chart here for you all All right, we got involved in we got involved in the Facebook around 2814, and we sold 50s and 60s. All right, we actually missed the addition on this little bull flag right here, but we got involved right on the Facebook around this uh, 2814 level. If you guys are in the chat room, you guys would have been able to participate in that trade. If you would like to get access to the chat room, go to WallStreetTrading.com and fill out the form on the right hand side to get the email 
uh, to get the email with the credentials for the login to the chat room. But we caught the Facebook right here at this 2814 level. We're actually trying to get longer on the 2805 once we started seeing the strength in it, but it didn't really pull back in this. We just paid up for it, and paying up for it actually worked out pretty well. So the Facebook trade was a good one. Uh, we talked about the LVS showing relative strength, talking about watch to talked about uh, watching the casinos this morning here as LVS was showing some strength pre-market and held up pretty well and they bought that one right up if you take a look at the 15 minute chart uh, it gave us a nice little entry to get involved here off this little pullback flag around 53.40 and then it moved off of off from, uh, from there right from that level um, the opening gave you some nice action as well uh, we were I was not able to catch the opening price but we did catch this uh, move that came here at 53.40 and then what's the other name that we talked about? Um, Dick Sporting Goods. They came out with earnings this morning. Looks like they beat the bottom in the top line. This stock wasn't really doing much, but we did track it. Did tell the guys in the room to watch this one if it breaks below 46. And you can see bounce. when it hit 46, they bounced all the way up to 46.38. Then they slammed it through 46. But right now, this stock, I wouldn't be looking to do anything with it in the, in the uh, afternoon session right now. It looks like the majority of the move was made this morning here from the short from 47.25 to 45.20. And then, of course, you had the people looking to short the lows, which was us looking for a short to 46 to our target of 45.40 and actually went down to 45.25. <laughs> so that's another name that we were talking about in the chat room. Uh, one stock you got to watch, Amazon, AMZN, showing some relative weakness today here. All right, AMZN showing some relative weakness today. Uh, kind of dead right now. I mean, it gapped down and sold off a bit. Let's take a look at Apple, see what Apple is doing today. A A P L uh, Apple week today as well. I believe they had some news come out this morning in regards to uh, a, a lawsuit or something they had going on with them. Let me pull up the news here real quick. Or a downgrade, I believe it was Apple. Yeah, they got downgraded. Uh, firm reports that iPhone weakness continues to be impacted by the intense, uh, intensive, intensive, intensifying competition. Um, also, Amazon release of Amazon smartphone is said to have been delayed due to the production issues at the Foxconn. So that's probably why Amazon's down a little bit this morning here, uh, to that news that came out. So, a little bit of uh, selling pressure, or weakness in some of these little high big cap uh, tech stocks. But aside from that, the market does not care as it's still making new highs and it's still making a nice move to the top side. So that's about it, guys. <clears throat> Keeping on the agriculture sector as well. That tr sector's trading pretty strong. Potash, uh, Monsanto. All right, so that's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys after the bell for the After the Bell Market Summary. Make sure you check out our website, wallstreettrading.com. And I'm going to be looking to do a webinar uh, maybe possibly Thursday. I've got to put the stuff together here. But uh, I'm going to be looking to do a webinar possibly uh, possibly on Thursday in regards to a uh, setting up a playbook for your trading set setups and strategies. In any case, that's it, folks. Catch you guys after the close. Peace.